Mike asks, uh, when you go activate a park with another amateur, do you use bandpass filters for each band, or how do you keep your interference between stations? Yes, we do. We yeah. do use bandpass filters. Yeah, we and, did that um, this past weekend, definitely. Mm -hmm. yep, we did. Yeah, when we when we when the three of us were at, out at uh, the the Flambeau River State Forest, uh, we had a I have a pair of bandpass filters, a twenty meter and a forty meter one, and uh, we were swapping those between the stations. And Joe, I think you were on you were mostly on fifteen and ten meters, so. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I didn't you, necessarily need them, but that kept me yeah. out of you guys when you mm -hmm. guys are running 40 and 20, so. Right. So at least if, if, if two of us, you know, if we were on those other bands and we had a filters going, we, we, we were relatively clean and, you know, clean for Joe's so if he was on a, on a third band. And yeah, we just kind of swapped well, the filters. I was, I was relatively clean for you two. I was having some problems on 15 when one okay. of you were on 40, and I think it was probably I think it was, it. I think it was me. Yeah, but you were also running FT8 at the time. It was one of those things like it was it was like bad for eight seconds. And it was good for two. <laughs> not, not that not that the dulcet tones of KB9 VBR isn't very rhythmic. <laughs> uh, just saying that it was pretty spot on FT8, yeah. my friend. And I know Michael I... wasn't running it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll mode so, shave you. <laughs> you'll mode so, shave all day long. I know, but. I kept the power down. I could have really messed with you and ran more than 10 watts. <laughs> well, 10, wa 10 watts was enough that it from, I could tell when it was about an S1 noise. And we're talking, we're in a, we're in a state forest campground with no power. Uh, it was an S1 noise. And when you kicked in, it was about S4, S5. Oh, I, I think that. the, but I keep, think the I problem, you only, our antennas were what? 60 feet apart. Yeah. And, and they were, were oriented. Under, under. And they were, they were pretty much the same direction. I was yeah. kind of, a little bit perpendicular to you, to both of you. So it's uh, Joe and I were parallel, yeah. and yeah, so they keep apart. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna add more. Um, I'll have to add a couple more filters to my arsenal. I'll probably since these upper bands are really starting to take off, I'll probably get a 15 um, meter filter. And I'm still thinking about getting an 80. So it's uh, uh, you know they 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 make they make these all in one bandpass filters where you can get all of the bands, you know, in one big unit and you just kind of flip them on and off. And I think that's good if you're not going to share, but if you're in a, in sort of a group setting and one person's on one band and another person's on another band, it's really easy to say, well, you're going to be on 40 meter here, take my 40 meter filter and, um, and then you'll stay out of my hair. And, and vice versa, how, much so. those, how much were those a piece? <laughs> they are about 70, 75, um, okay. Morgan terrible. Systems, um, SurgeStop.com, I think is the website. Morgan Systems, uh, SurgeStop.com, filter products. And they've got, um, yeah, all the bands. And the, they make a high performance and, um, and a, um, a regular one. I think the only difference is that the, is, is the power handling and also this is the regular ones are like a two pole design and a high performance are a four pole design. So they've got um, a greater level of attenuation, but um, 80 bucks a piece. So they went up a couple mm -hmm. dollars since I bought mine. Well, inflation's all you know what. <laughs> <laughs> so there, if, if you're, if you're thinking about working, you know, um, group, group activities, group activations, field day, yeah, these things are, these winter field day, these things are, they're worth, they're worth the, the price you pay for them. So. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.